My name is Sandy Siwe Mazibugo. I'm the creative director at House of Febrosense. Uh, we started House of Febrosense in 2010, and the name Febrosense stands for Feb, fabulous, and then RO, royalty, and then my name, Sands. The idea of starting Febrosense started in 2010 um, because I would see when ladies, you know, when I'm wearing something, ladies would compliment me. And when I go out shopping, I wouldn't find what I'm looking for. So I realized I started making my own clothes. I went to a school just like to learn how to sew. And then I started making my own clothes and then people started to realize um, that, I mean, she's doing something amazing. They started ordering from me as well. Starting your own business is always scary. How I started, I used to take orders. So people would pay me before I do anything. You know, it was not a ready to wear like this, you know, where we have a full flesh production. So people will pay and then I'll use the deposits and then I'll go buy the fabric. So that's how we built the capital from there. It was scary, but I mean, the customers and the support was amazing. We've opened a store at the Mall of Africa for, for people to get to experience, um, you know, and get to be in touch with the brand. So as you walk in as well, you feel like you're walking in into your closet. You know, we want ladies to feel like royalty because Febrosense is, you are royalty, that's our tagline. So when we encourage ladies to come more to the store and then get to feel like and to know the brand more, shop online, but from time to time visit, even if when you're coming to South Africa, you're not from local, you come and visit the store. As a brand, we decided to, to make our own print uh, because we've been using African print, which is not inspired by Africa, but by South African. And now we have this print that you see behind me, which is inspired by the Ngoni tribe of South Africa. So even the colors, you know, the original, it's our South African colors. It's very important to get legal protection as the brand. We learned the hard way as the company, so we had to make sure we, had, we have legal uh, representation to, to always help us to, to protect our work. My top three tips for entrepreneur is uh, be involved, get to know all department of your business, and make sure your books are sorted uh, by employing a bookkeeper. And then the third one is make sure you take some time out if you need you know, you feel like you're not creative anymore, you, get, you hit that creative block, take some time out. For me as a designer, it was important to, to uplift our culture, our people, because, you know, in fashion now, the world is looking at us, you know, they're looking at us for inspiration. So everyone, like, you know, find people like crying in their corners and then they say, oh no, this big brand is stealing from us, but what are you doing about it, you know? So I took it upon myself, we took it upon ourselves as a brand to create something that speaks to us, that makes sure that we sell it to the world.